bathroom. Hey everybody, this is uh, not a spring check <laughs> today. Okay, the Olympics, okay, coverage for the Olympics has already started. And you're going, what? The, the Olympics aren't until, what, February? Oh, well, it's already started because they're already having terrorist activities and they're trying to tell people that it's safe to go to the Sochi Olympics and that they are undergoing all of these security measures. Um, but you can watch us because, see, here's part of it is, we are on their press list, so we will be having, yes, coverage for the Olympics. Yes! Oh, okay, net you news. <laughs> Excuse me. I get excited about that. The news still continues, and we're going to go to Old Camp with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, I mean, they're totally, I mean, as Obamacare is collapsing around them, they're basically telling the, you know, well, we're going to have to get, we're going to have to dump the Tea Party because they're trying to, they're trying to do things that are going to hurt the party. And we have to go with those people that are going to help the party, not hurt the party. And they're, uh, let's see, the, the Tea Party is the, is the conservative, the, the Republican Party is a conservative party. They're telling the people that are the conservatives, we don't want you, we don't need you, we can get money from elsewhere. So what's happening? Said they're going to run conservative candidates against our established incumbents, who basically have done nothing to stop Obama in five years, and and, and basically they. Okay, this is what I said this morning. The, the Republican incumbent is there to serve the wishes of the people that that basically pay his bills, and the, and the wishes of the party. They're not there to serve the wishes of the people that elected him to office. And federal health market surpasses one million signups. Yeah, and they said only three hundred seventy-five thousand of those one million are paying customers, none of which has actually paid a bill yet. And the vast majority of those paying people are the people that were dumped off the health care system by Obama because there were inferior policies. So now they're paying for an inferior policy that Obama doesn't approve of that isn't as good as the inferior policy they had before and now have deductibles that are higher, but don't worry. This is the fault of the Republicans. The Republicans have always wanted the system to be like that, where the working person had to pay more money than they could afford, which is why so many people want Obamacare. Um, there's seven million people that have lost their insurance because of Obamacare. There's only 300, only 375,000 that have signed up that are paying. Of that 375,000, only 50% of those are part of that 7 million. You know why? Because they don't have the money to sign up for health care now because of Obama. They make too much money to qualify for any assistance and not enough money to pay for health care. Oh. <coughs> and federal health market surpasses 1 million sign-ups. Does she like that? She might find it. It is. Because <laughs> it's all phony. I know. I know. That's why. And Republican leaders expected to win the fall election without conservative help. And by fixing Obamacare for the president, that, that's the that's the oxymoron. How can they? How can they? By assisting in a person to stay in office that's on the verge of being tossed out of office, and fixing a system that's totally broke. How are they? How do they expect to win? Okay, they're going to do. Okay, what did McCain and the Republican leadership tell the conservatives in you know when Obama got elected? They said F you. What did Romney and the leaders of the Republican Party tell the conservatives? They said, F you. Did those people come out and vote for either one of them? No. Would have Obama been beaten if the conservatives would have voted? Oh, he couldn't have won either election. Totally, he would have lost the election if even 50% of the conservatives would have came out and voted for Romney, but they, they felt that Romney was nothing more than a Republican version of Obama. And Google asked to remove 235 million links to copyright infringing content in 2013. Yeah, but the problem is, is I can guarantee you that a lot of these things that they pulled off were owned by the people. What happens is, you have to go to court to prove that you own something that you own. Because they're, they're so worried about copyright issues that they'll throw you off the internet just like that. Because, like, like we tell people, it's their sandbox, they make the rules, and if they want to listen to it, what happens is they're third-party companies now that file, file digital rights management complaints in behalf of people. Uh, problem is, like, you know, I, 
I know that a couple of really big famous songwriters and musicians from the 50s and 60s, including me, have basically been threatened with litigation if we didn't remove things because they're protecting the intellectual rights of, of me and the other rock musicians. The problem is, we didn't ask them to do that and they got our music all pulled. I know. And there's people, yeah, and there's other people that are in the same boat. Yeah. And Time Warner Cable adds new content to curtail cord cutting. Do you have Time Warner Cable? Yeah. I have Time Warner Cable. Have you seen that new content that they've added? I think they keep taking content away. We're taking, they're, we're getting content taking away. Although they're, there is more on, on demand. But yeah, otherwise. but that's not what they're talking about. Content as in free stuff to pay, you know, to make up for what... No, there's some on demand that's free. There's nothing on demand on my site is free. They, you pay for the better quality stuff. I have the oh. one program. But actually I have more, which is funny. She pays for the higher tier than I do, and I have channels that she doesn't have, mm -hmm. which are premium channels. So, And right. rescue underway for Russian ship trap by Antarctic ice. I don't understand. Herbie Daddy says he doesn't understand this. Ice Icebreakers are meant to break through the ice in bad weather. There's a severe snowstorm going on, so the icebreakers are having a problem getting through the ice, and then, oh, there's a ship stuck in the ice. The ship it, it gets stuck in the ice, the ice has got it trapped. They're worried about icebergs coming into the area and hitting a trapped ship that is trapped in the ice that's not moving. Uh, the icebergs have to go through the water. They, if the ice is trapped a ship, the ice go. is not moving, so therefore, um, it, you, you know when you got bad snow, bad news days when they keep pushing at something like that stupidity. <laughs> Gay icon nesting dolls sent to the Kremlin for Christmas. Oh, it's, uh, it's the, the gay rights people. Here's what it is. They're going to have to confirm with the rest of the world. Well, the rest of the world, two-thirds of which is Muslim, do not approve of gay rights. Then there's that half of the world that isn't Muslim that doesn't approve of gay rights. Then you get to the United States and you get to... Some of the Scandinavian companies, that's what you got that believes in gay rights. Mm, and there and we're going we Obama is not sending Obama is sending gay athletes over to infuriate okay, here's okay. You know what Putin Putin used to be a guy that lined people up against the wall and yeah. shot him in the back of the head? What? Um, and they're blowing up things at the moment by you know the Chechen and terrorists are blowing things up. What happens if some of those Chesnian terrorists aren't Chesnian terrorists and they accidentally do some damage at the Olympic Games to the Americans uh -huh. and uh, who gets blamed for it? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And who is the fault of it? Our president. Because oh. he's pushing an issue. The last time I heard, you know, first of all, he, okay, here's a big deal. People think that the Russians are not, uh, don't believe in religion. No, that's the socialist folks. Russians have the, Kremlin happens to be the biggest Greek Orthodox church in the universe. They have never, they were, they have uh, their beautiful church icons. They have tenderly, re carefully restored all of the religious relics and, uh, and churches that were damaged in World War II. They may not. There's a difference between some people and other uh, hardcore communists don't, but the majority of people are not hardcore communists. They go to church, folks. And Justice Sotomayor to drop the ball, not the gavel, on the 2014 Times Square countdown. Well, now, if she had her choice, she would drop the gavel on it because that's uh, that's a capitalistic waste of money, and she's a socialist, which is funny. <laughs> the Justice Sotomayor is going to. It's yeah. just like why? I mean, because it's a uh, the, it, they they have a socialist mayor of the city of New York, so she. He picks a, so, a judge that is so is to the left. I of mean, Obama. they'd regular they'd rather see an entertainer up there than a justice. Yeah, well, see, the conservatives blame the Republican leadership for Sotomayor. They let Sotomayor, who should not have been a justice, because here's the problem: is is that she was in uh, most of the cases that the Supreme Court are going to be getting for the next five six years, all filtered through her office, and therefore she has a. You know, or she was uh, solicitor general for the president of the United States, and therefore she is making rulings on things that she was involved with. 
Um, the, aren't they supposed to not do that? They, she so shouldn't. Okay, the Republicans sense. had that as their weapon to deny her. It only took one Republican to stop it, one, and they couldn't get anybody that would put a hold on her nomination. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that, uh, oh, this is a good one. Come on here. Here he says that, that basically when it comes to the, the people on the left, you always know when they have no solution to anything is when they, they start laughing at everything that is said and they call you stupid.